This interview is brought to you by The Come Up Show, where that feel-good music lives. Real, recognize, real. Make sure to check out more interviews at thecomeupshow.com. This is the come up show where that feel good music lives. Real recognize real. I'm out here in Woodstock, Ontario at uh, Juliana's Bar and Grill. You know, usually I don't leave London for the interviews, but this is a special interview. I'm with an artist who has blown up in the last couple of years, man. Came out of nowhere. I, you know what I mean? You, you, the come up show audience, you know how much marketing and promotions that I do, but this guy has it on another level. That's why I come here to, 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 to hear his brain and the, the, read the knowledge that he is. Man, why don't you introduce yourself? It's the kid. We got to blame it on ourselves as a human being. Trying to disguise the inner emotions with big dreams and many lies. You know who it is when you hear that, man? The kid famous, the come up show. Yo, this is going to be a good interview, man. Let's get started. I, I, I'm feeling it right now. Okay, so yo, where'd you come from, man? Because it seemed like you came out of nowhere. You weren't... Like those type of rappers, it didn't seem that you were you know, rapping for 10 years and you just blew up. You just came out of nowhere, man. How did it come about? Well, like when yeah. you say came out of nowhere, in yeah. what sense? As far as the music? No, no not, not in the music. You're probably Just recording. I mean, like to as the, an entity, as an entity to Famous. to be known everywhere. You're known. All over Canada, I would say, and probably in the States, too. Yeah, well, I mean, yo, it's just, it just comes down to the work ethic that I have, you know what I mean? I just know how to create a product. I, I think I know what the people want to hear. I think I live a life that the general consumer lives, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's just about a plan that I put together, you know, strategically. And um, I think it's, it's business. I learned a lot of the business interning at, you know, Universal Music and working at Sony. So I saw a lot of the business and the marketing behind it. And I just use that as a tool to just, you know, push the whole project. And the success that it, that it has is crazy, man. It is, it is crazy. Can you give some of these tips maybe to these artists that have been rapping for five years and still nobody knows about them? A, a couple, well, you know, yeah, not secrets. Really, but well, it's not yeah, really secrets. Yeah, I think it, yeah. it comes down to a couple yeah, things. Yeah. Time, is, time is money, right? Everything works in numbers and common sense. Mm -hmm. So, like, common sense is something you think an average person should have. But a lot of people don't have common sense, right? So you got to base everything on common sense. And I think all my, everything that I've done is just based on common sense. And a lot of people don't think that way. So they make those mistakes and, you know, they just have to, you know, reap whatever happens from it. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay, for sure. So uh, you are, uh, you're, like you were saying, the intern at Universal and that helped you. You were also an intern at Flow, is that true? Yeah. How did that help you? Yeah, I interned at Flow for two years, man. You know what I mean? Just grinding. But it was kind of like I was at the concerts, and, um, you know, talking to the promoters and... And, you know, I was getting my links all across the city, the bouncers and all that stuff. And it just so happens everything works around, right? So, you know, ever since the project been bumping, everybody's seen my progression and my grind since day one. So, you know, if they ever need an MC, they always holler at the Kid Famous and they know I shut it down, right? You know, they ever have performance, any type of opportunities, they always look out for me. So, I think it was just like it was something that started from small, you know, you either let them take advantage of you or you take advantage. They're giving you this opportunity. A lot of people don't understand, a lot of people want to be there and only selected few get in there. So I've just been taking all those blessings to be at two major record labels. You know, the only urban radio station in all of Canada is, is kind of like, that's when I realized I'm going to rap now. Because I always wanted to do it, but you don't really think rap is something you should do. Like, it's like a job and, and they're not hiring. We're in a recession right now. Like the last thing that they're looking for is a rapper, right? But it was kind of like, yo, everything just came into play. And I was like, you know what I mean? I, I've always been an entertainer, right? But it was just about, like, I always had feelings. And I always felt that I had something to say. And then I just put it out. Just had to make it rhyme, you know what I mean? And that was it. How's that been treating you so far, man? Yo, it's been, yo, it's crazy, man. Yeah. Just like, I think the greatest part is just like fans. You know, to know that people really get inspired by your music. It like, some MCs, they take it and they feed something else, right? They create like this whole facade that a, a lot of people typically can't get to, right? I like to just keep it real in the music. People appreciate that, man. 100% 100, and, uh, yo Like I record everything I do So like People see like the grind From here to here How long it took me What I did right So like you know Some You, you should see that as inspiration You know what I mean Some people never see nothing like that You know the, Like a lot I've seen People tell me this And it takes a lot for people To actually You know Hit you up and say like You know 
famous. I'm gonna be jocking this, or I'm doing this because of you, or you inspired me to do this. It's like, word, like that's what it was meant to do. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how does how does that feel, man? Yo, just yo, yeah. but it, I just feel like that was just my my um, like my purpose in this world was just to inspire, right? Mm-hmm. And that's what I do, and it just so happens that's how I make my money. So everything works out great. Mm-hmm. Let, let me tell you, for me, my background, I'm a radio DJ. I love, I volunteer to come up show, you know what I mean? And I love it so much. It's my passion, and I want to inspire people through music like yours and yeah. show them what's good. But how, what would you say in tips to give the artists, you know, from doing free shows to turn it into actual profession? Well, I think you got, yeah, you definitely got to know the business of it. Like, for instance, I put out five tracks last year, right? Five tracks, five videos. And those songs, unless people actually purchased it on on iTunes or they went to irapnow.com, right? Unless they physically went there and bought it, all they have is a version with Clinton Sparks yelling all over it. So they, they haven't had the opportunity to just listen to a full song unless they purchased it. Now, from a business sense, that's great because I'm getting like a dollar off each iTunes, you know what I mean? The ringtones are out there. You can't find my music for free online, right? Mm-hmm. But then it's like, I'm not having people listen to it. You know, they're not hearing it, so it's not getting promoted that way. And that's what I'm doing on my next project I'm working on. I'm just trying to put out more music, you know? Everybody always hits me up and it's like crazy because the demand is so crazy. They want to hear more. And I think it's just part of my story. I want to let them see the steps of my story right so i'm just working on the next project right now so you were uh, nominated for the junos am, am i am i correct it's crazy be like i didn't even I, what are we what were you not what ca- what what category was it rap recording of the year yeah yeah rap recording of the year and i like to shout out every everybody who was nominated so i'm decisive was never one to get on kneecaps elbows on my mattress the L incognito international flavors like eyes on me cardinal and point blank and um, yo, it was crazy. That's a Rap huge. Yeah. Yo, B, I didn't even yeah. have a song out. Like, yeah. my first song went out January, very much April, May. Fourth biggest city. Um, no, I'm saying first official yeah, single, yeah. Big Man Things. They said I'm never gonna make it. They said I never take it. They said, yo, you better offline and keep trying with that fake. Okay. Went out sometime in May, right? Yeah. So like to get nominated for a Juno after like not even having a like this all happened in one year. You feel me? Like four months into it, like maybe my sixth performance was opening up for Nas. Mm-hmm. Like I went from doing like fifty to hundred to two hundred to two thousand in like three weeks, right? So the progression was crazy. You feel me? Are you talking about what do you mean, the money or like... No, I'm saying progression just as like, as as a MC. Okay. You know, from where it started to how quick it, it moved. Mm-hmm. You know, but I think it was just me, it was um like preparation meets opportunity, right? Mm-hmm. I've just always been prepared. It's like, it's in me. Like, at, at the snap, like, I'm, I'm good to go. And uh, I think one of the important things have been the promotion. Like, the way you do your promotion is, is something else, man. The way I'm, I'm on your mailing list, and I pay attention to every <laughs> single link that you... Okay, let me put it like this. Like I said, it comes back to common sense, right? Okay. So common sense, common sense says you're trying to get people on a mailing list. Mm-hmm. So everybody who adds me on Facebook, I take their email and I add it to my mailing list. Common sense says to do that, right? Um, promotion. So common sense says if I'm putting like a mixtape out, I could either just put, you know, have my brethren do it for me, right? He'll do it for me for free, right? And he'll do whatever type of job he does. Or I could actually invest money in someone who actually does this. They come up with an ill, ill look. Like you come up with a concept, like the I Rap Now EP. You know what I mean? Just a different character. That doesn't look like something average. So I'm going to look at it. It's kind of like when people tag me on Facebook. Unless, like, the name is something that I may be interested in, or you've tagged people that I know who are in the industry, or the picture that's in the front is, like, an ass or something. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I'm not going to check it out. And I know that as common sense. Like, common sense says that people don't have time to check all these videos. You know? So that's how I just base all my promotion mm-hmm. on like common sense. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And how is the learner? You've obviously learned a lot too in in the, in the whole process. Yeah, man. You know, I've taken yeah. I've taken a lot in. Like I'm still learning. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? But uh, like.